Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Shlishi, Amud Adaf, Chaf, Amud Aleph, Chapter 3, Page 20a. Aval mitame hu lemet mitzvah, but he may contaminate himself for an unattended corpse. Amai, why? Lema ein chachma ve'ein tfuna ve'ein etza leneged Hashem. He, let us have said, there is no wisdom or understanding or counsel against God. Shani hatam, there it is different. Dichti v'lachoto, for it is written, or for his sister. Miligma mina, but let us derive from here. But let us derive from here that human dignity overrides Torah prohibitions. Shev alta seshani to sit and refrain from performing mitzvah is different. Amale rav papa la abaye rav papa said to abaye maishna rishonim di it di iter di iter chish. Lehu Nisa, what was different about earlier generations for whom miracles occurred? Umayishana Anan Dela Mitr Mitrachish Lan Nisa, and what is different about us for whom miracles do not occur? I Mishum Tnuye, if because of study, that's not true. Bishne de Ravioda Kule Tnuye Bunizikin Hava. In the time of Rabbi Yoda, all the study was in of, of uh, tra- concentrated in Nezikin. Ba'anan ka matninan shi'ita sidre. We study all six uh, books of Mishnah. Ve'chi hava matni Rabbi Yoda be'uktin. Moreover, when Rabbi Yoda would arrive at Uktin, for example, Haisha Shekov Veshet Yarak Bakdera, if a woman is preserving a vegetable in a pot, the Amrela and others say it was in a Mishnah Zaitim Shekavashan Betarpehain Torim, olives that one preserved together with their leaves, Atahor. Amar, he would say, Hav Yodhad Rabushmel Ka Chazena Chacha. I see he discussed. I see here the discussions of Rav and Shmuel together. Banan ka matzninan be'uktsin t'leisa mitivata, whereas we study uktsin in 13 versions, so we must be superior. Ve'ilu Rav Yehuda ki hava shalif chad mesa'ane, yet Rav Yehuda would remove one shoe, um, as a sign of affliction, Ate Mitra and rain would come immediately. But Anan Ka Metarinan Nafshin, whereas we afflict ourselves with Mitzvah Ka Tzavchinan and cry out in prayer, the late Demashkach Ban, and no one pays attention to us. How is this? Amale said Abay to Rapapa Kame Kamae Havu Ka Masre Nafshehu Naf. Nafshayehu Akdushat Hashem, the earlier sacrificed themselves to sanctify the name of God. Anan lo masarinan nafshin Akdushat Hashem, but we do not sacrifice ourselves to sanctify the name of God. Uh, we'll just scroll down. Oh, where's the So we're up to um, uh, in the middle, about two thirds of the way down on the left. Kiha Durav on the screen. It's on the left, at the top. Kiha Durav Adabar Ahava Chazye Lehahi Kutit Davat Levisha Kabalta Beshuka As in this. Uh, episode for Rav Adar Barahava saw a Kutian woman who was wearing a kabalta in the street. What's a kabalta? Oh, an ostentatious kind of garment. Savar Devat Israel he he mistook her for a Jew. Kam Karemina and arose up and tore it from her. Iglai Milta Dechutit he. It was discovered that she was a Kutian woman 
and yet pay fine. Shiamehu Shimuha Baarba Maazuze they evaluated the fine at four hundred Zuz. Amala Ma Shemehi asked her what's your name? Amala Matun, she answered him Matun uh, Amala, he said to her, Matun Matun Arba Me'azuze Shavya. Matun Matun was worth 400 zuz to me. Rav Gidel Hava Ragil Dava Ka'azil Viativ Ashare Ditfila. Rav Gidel's practice was to go and sit next to the entrance to the women's mikvah. Um, he would show them how to immerse properly. Amar lehu, he would say to them, Hachi tvilu vahachi tvilu, immerse this way, immerse this way. Amre le Rabbanand, Rabbi said to him, Loka mistefei mar miyet sehara, is the master not afraid of the evil inclination? Amar lehu, he said to them, Demayan be'apai ki kakei chivarei, they seem to me just like white geese. And they don't entice me. Rabbi Yochanan Hava Ragil Dava Ka Azil Viativ Ashare Detvila. Rabbi Yochanan was accustomed to sit next to the entrance to the women's mikvah. Amar, he, he explained, Ki Salkam Benot Israel Vatian Mitvila. When the Jewish women emerge and come out from their immersion, Mr. Klan B, they will look at me, Ben Hevele Huzar A, De Shapire Kav Kavait Kavayoti, and they will have children as beautiful as me. Amre Le Rabbanan Rabbi said to him, Look, Mr. Fe Mar Meena Bisha is master not afraid of the evil eye. Ama Lehu Rabbi Yochanan replied to them, Ana Miz Ara de Yosef Ka Atina, I come from the progeny of Yosef. De lo shalta be Eina Bisha over whom an evil eye has no power. Dirti, it's written, Ben Porat, Yosef Ben Porat. Ale Ayin, a charming son, is Joseph a charming son, a charming son to the uh, to the eye? Ale Ayin. The Amar Rabbi Abahu and Rabbi Abu said, Alti pray Ale Ayin, do not pronounce Ale Ayin, Ela Ole Ayin, but rather Ole Ayin, rising over the eye. Rabbi Yossi, but Rabbi, what does that mean? Rising. That means that there were Ole. Uh, Ayn means they're above the evil eye. It had no power over them. Rabbi Yossi bar Rabbi Hanina Amar Mehacha. Rabbi Yossi bar Hanina said, uh, From here, the Yidgu Lerov Bekerev Ha'eret, and may they, the children of Yosef, proliferate abundantly like fish within the land. Madagim Shabayim Maim Mechasin Alehem, just as the fish of the sea covers, uh, water covers them. The Ain Ain Harash Oletet Bahem, and so the eye, the evil eye, has no power over them. Af zar o shel Yosef, so to the progeny of Jos of Yosef, ein ein harasholetet by him, the evil eye has no power over them. The e bait ema, or if you prefer, say, ein shelo ratzda lizon lizon mima she ein o shelo, an eye that did not want to enjoy what was not his. That is Potiphar's wife who tried unsuccessfully to seduce him. Ain Ain Hara Sholetet Bo. The evil eye has no power against him. I'll just start the Mishnah. The Mishnah says Nashim Vavadim Uktanim Peturin Mikriashma. Women, slaves, and minors are exempt from reciting Shma.